Hey guys, I want to do a video on hair loss due to hormones. So many people don't ask themselves what causes the hair loss. They just start taking something without understanding that there's a cause and effect relationship. When we get to hormones, it's huge and it's complex. I'll try to make it really simple for you, but there's about six scenarios that you, you could run into relating to hormones. I'll put some links down below of what to do for each situation. And as I go through this, just make mental notes on what thing might apply to you, okay? So the first thing is cortisol. That relates to stress. Low cortisol is where you have this major loss situation. You go through this stress or a shock to the body and you lose your immune system and then you get autoimmune, so you have alopecia, okay? So that's a hair patches coming out because of low uh, cortisol. If cortisol is high, it destroys your protein. So you can have high cortisol or low cortisol and have hair loss. But usually if it's high, it's like, it's just general hair loss, it's not patches, okay? So that's cortisol. Estrogen, when the estrogen goes higher, as compared to during a, a pregnancy, or maybe you're, you have estrogen dominance going through your period, or you're taking birth control pills, well, what's gonna happen is that your thyroid is gonna be inhibited. So increase estrogen, decrease thyroid function, hair loss, okay? And then postpartum, um, pregnancy. So you had a pregnancy, all of a sudden you lost your hair. What happens in that situation is you drop the estrogen and that automatically, indirectly, increases the testosterone. So now we end up with this high testosterone, which then turns to a very powerful testosterone called DHT, burns out your hair, okay? I put a link down on what, what to take for that if that happened to you. And then insulin. Insulin can convert to a male hormone called androgens, okay? And that's in a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome where you have this facial hair, but then you lose all the hair up there. So um, that's the situation because it uh, insulin converts to androgen. And I have a video, uh, lots of videos on estrogen, I'm sorry, insulin and what to do about it, how to fix it. It's kind of like a pre-diabetic situation if you have insulin resistance or you're a diabetic, you need to watch those videos, okay? Then we get to menopause. Menopause is when your estrogen decreases but the opposing hormone doesn't decrease as much, that's called testosterone. So we have low estrogen, higher testosterone, DHT, hair loss. Same situation with, with this one we just talked about, okay? That's during menopause, and then having just the thyroid problem in general, hypothyroidism, you can lose your hair, and the outer eyelash, uh, eyebrows right here. And usually the deeper cause of thyroid are mainly a liver or gallbladder problem and you can't convert the thyroid hormones or it could just be high levels of estrogen, we talked about that over here, causing the blockage of the thyroid, okay? So that's the thyroid connection. And then just testosterone. When you increase testosterone, you increase DHT and what happens, DHT burns out the hair follicles. So there's a very simple solution to this show you down in the link down below. And what will cause increased testosterone if you're a female is increased insulin because you have insulin resistance and you crave sugar and you're eating too much sugar. Um, or you have lowered amounts of estrogen if you're a female and indirectly you're gonna always have the higher levels of testosterone, okay? A little complex um, video, but I wanted to give you all the scenarios that are involved in hair loss with hormones. See which one indicates, watch the video below so we can just make it simple. Thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button. Press it. Forget it, forget it, I'm done. Press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.